Shut up and sit down. Welcome to Dirty Ho Gardens. We got another banger for you today with Mr. 420 Fiends. And instead of spending much time making fun of him because he had to take his tent down because he was having so many problems and his plants are all yellowed out and now he's growing in a pantry. Instead of spending any time making fun of that, the fact that he's growing in this kitchen pantry, um, I'm just going to skip all that. He's, he's telling some bad information here, and instead of being negative, I just want to get the proper information out there for everybody. Let's take a listen. Not much going on in the potassium department, and if you guys... What he's saying here is, let me give a quick synopsis here. He's basically blaming Ocean Forest for his bad grow because it doesn't have enough potassium in it. He's having some potassium deficiencies and he's looking to fix it. I just noticed that your leaf edges are starting to kind of yellow out. Well, that's the problem you have right there, potassium deficiency. I've been getting it. People on Discord have been getting the potassium deficiency, especially with the ocean forest. People have been emailing me. I literally got an email last night. Someone's like, oh, you know, I'm running ocean forest. What's going on here? What's going on with these yellowing leaf edges? And that's the problem here. So think about it. All the amendments that I was talking about, there's nothing in there that really constitutes a good supply of potassium. So what you want to do is, now, this is what I recommend. When you have your ocean forest, make sure to get a box of down the earth Lang B and I, okay? I believe the NPK ratio and for that is zero, zero, 022. Don't. Here's the problem with Lang B and I, and it's not really a problem with Lang B and I, but using Lang B and I as a potassium, um, trying to fix a potassium issue. The problem is. Lang Bionite also has a ton of magnesium in it. And the magnesium that's in the magnesium is much more soluble than the potassium that's in Lang Bionite. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw everything out of balance. Magnesium is also uh antagonistic to potassium. So what could happen is you, your magnesium levels could go so high that you're actually blocking out. If you are having a potassium issue, you're going to even be blocking out more potassium by adding langbionite because the magnesium in there is so soluble. Um, and it's going to fuck up. It's all about balance. And that's going to fuck up your balance. The way you can use langbionite is if you have a magnesium problem. If you're fairly decent on your potassium and you need to up your magnesium, you could use Langbionite for that because it's it's going to be very soluble and your potassium levels will be decent to begin with. Do not use Langbionite for a potassium issue. You got a potassium issue, if you're having problems, Potassium sulfate is your answer, not langbionite. Don't quote me on it. Two tables. Okay, so that's really about it. Just a quick little video. Do not use langbionite if you're having potassium issues. You can use langbionite if you're having magnesium issues. Everything's a balance, guys. You, it's a... So a little dance. You got to keep everything in balance. Everything's got to work synergy. You, you <clears throat> don't want high levels of certain things. They're going to be antagonistic of other things. Block them out. Uh, and that's definitely the case in Langbionite. So, he's wrong again. Just a quick tip. Short and sweet. See you next time.